Jesus, how are we doing tonight, guys? So we are going to do the anchor and uh, life preserver tonight. And what we're going to do is, on the anchor, I'm going to do the anchor in Silver Holographic Glitter by Let's Resin. Do this anchor in the holographic just cuz we can cuz we can and I think it's gonna be beautiful day six guys yay yeah, and the way I feel right now, it's, yeah, it's pretty much done. I mean, I'm not going to, if I'm not having any more withdrawals than what I actually am now, I'm fine. I'm not going to start back at all. Yeah, I won't be starting back. I honestly expected to be going through. I was like, because I have a few times been like really, really bad. Like to the point that I was like putting on a patch and rubbing the patch, telling it to hurry up and work. And this time, honestly, I think I just set my mind to it so determined that I'm just, I don't know. Either that or maybe I'm just done. Maybe you just got to be at the point where you're just done, you know? I've been that way with a relationship before, where I kind of stuck it out when I shouldn't have, you know, you stayed when you shouldn't have, probably you should have left quite a while before that, but at a certain point, you're just done, you're just over it, you're like, okay, I'm gone, time to roll, <laughs> time to be out, yeah, that's, that's about the only way I can explain it. I'd, I've been that way, like I said, stayed in relationships I shouldn't have for longer than I should have. I can't say that I shouldn't have stayed in. Yeah, actually I can. But things happen for a reason in our life, you know, we experience things. Even though we think there's not a reason behind it, there is a reason there. And we are what we are because of our choices, you know. So who knows, maybe if I would have not ended up with him, I wouldn't have ended up at this point in my life where I'm doing this. You know, maybe I would have ended up doing something completely different. And my life would have been completely different. So, you know, like I said, there's reasons for everything. And who knows, maybe there's a reason for this. Maybe there was a reason I went through what I did. And we all we have all went through things we have in life. I get a lot of people that complain when I make stuff and it doesn't turn out perfect. It doesn't turn out good. Oh my gosh, it turned out horrible. Just, why do you do that? Take your time. You know, I'm like, I feel like, yeah, I could do this and I could show you only the pretty stuff. But if I only show you the pretty stuff, then when you make something and for whatever reason, it may not be beautiful the first try. Because sometimes things aren't beautiful our first try, or our second try, or our third try. I don't want anybody to ever think you're inadequate because yours isn't perfect the first try. And that's why I'm like, no, things don't happen that way. That's not real life. Real life is, hey, prison runs in areas it's not supposed to. You know? It gets in places it shouldn't. And it does things, as if it, we all know, it does things that we wouldn't have expected. But we learn from it, and we do it again, and we get it right, and we end up with beautiful items that, you know, we would have never probably had if we would have just stopped the first time around and went, oh, that's ugly, I'm not doing that again.
lady made a comment about the frog, and I'm like, I get it. Yeah, he wasn't the most beautiful frog. But you know what? Sometimes we're not the most beautiful frog in the pond. And, yeah, she was just like, oh my god, he just, he's dead so ugly. It's like, okay. It's a matter of opinion, number one. And she's entitled to hers, just the same as we all are. But, and she wasn't hateful about it. She wasn't disrespectful about it. She said it politely enough. That's how come I saw the comment and came through. I said, normally I have the negative comments blocked. If it's a really bad comment, it doesn't, I never see it. And, uh, you can, anybody can do that. It doesn't, you don't have to be at a certain level or anything. You can block your negative comments, so. You do not have to deal with them. Don't have to deal with them, guys. Alright. We're going to get the little brush out here. And we're going to do the rope. This is going to be a very sparkly... Sparkly, sparkly. Anchor. Alright, that's in there like so. This one up here, we need to clear a little bit of this out right here. There we go. Perfect. Perfect, guys. All right. Put this back where it needs to be. Perfect. So now I'm going to put you guys on a pause. I'm going to mix up my resin and I'll be right back. Okay. So I have six ounces of resin mixed up here. I'm going to add in some uh, black acrylic ink. Give it a nice few drops. Here we 
Here's my black. Of course, black's going to make this holographic powder stand out so much better in this chameleon powder. Did I tell you the colors I was doing? So I did Forest King and the buoy. I did Let's Resin holographic glitter in silver for the anchor. And for the rope, I did Chameleon Powder Spicy Cocktail. This is a, I can't remember the name of the brand. They don't have a brand written on them. Uh, I can't remember the name of the brand. If you look back, it's been a while. I had, I had it in a video. I'll have to look and see if I can find it again. The resin I'm using is the Estovia resin. I think that's what I'm going to order again this time. I think that's what I'm going to order again. Mixed up six ounces of resin. Hope this is enough. Okay. Let's see if this is down here. No, it is not. Let's give it some more. Looks like six ounces exactly, guys. Six ounces. Hmm. Okay. That looks like it's pretty well domed right there. All right. Let's see, let's give it a Go do a puppy heart here.
Okay. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, not enough to fill that up, but that's all right. That's all right. We will cure what we can and top it off after we're done. Oh, what did I do here? How did that overflow? mess here. The table should be level. The table should be level. But it's looking like it's not. All right. Okay, so we are going to clean this up, and I'll put the turn on the mat here, and we will cure this and get it all done. And I will be back in a few minutes. Bye. Hey guys, we're back. So we are ready to demold this. It's going to be sparkly. Sparkly, glittery, you name it. <laughs> Shiny. Sparkly, glittery, shiny, shimmery anchor. I think I'm going to put this out on my patio. So I think I'm going to put a deal on the, a hanger on the back of it here. So I can hang it out there with my other fishing stuff. <clears throat> Alright, we ready? One, two, and three. Oh, wow. Look at this. Holy crap. That is gorgeous. Wow. A holographic glitter. Oh, my. So, this was holographic glitter. By Let's Resin. This was Forest King Chameleon Powder. I cannot remember the brand name. I don't have the box anymore for this. It was on Amazon. Um, gosh, I can't remember the name. And then this is one that's called Spicy Cocktail Chameleon Powder. And it looks brown, but when you brush it on, it's kind of a greenish color. With a little bit of a brown tint to it. But wow, isn't that pretty? Oh my. That's going to be beautiful out on my patio. Alright. I'm going to flip this over here. And I'm going to get out my... Got my little drawers here with all my stuff in it. I got stuff in front of it here. I got to move out of the way. 
go. Oops. Not my crystal. Not my crystal. My big pretty crystal here. Okay, I gotta get everything out of the back over here where it goes. Very pretty. So, we are gonna put a dab of UV resin right through the holes, through the screw holes on each side here. We're going to cure this just a little bit, and then I'm going to get my big UV resin light out and cure it the rest of the way. But we're just going to do it here so we can get it on there enough that I can cure it with the other. This is a pretty, pretty one. I love that Shrek one from last night. Wasn't that pretty, guys? And we are another day down on cigarette smoking. And I was honestly very proud of myself. Because I was over at my friend's house today, helping her, and she's like, I gotta have a cigarette, I'm sorry. And she lit a cigarette up, and it didn't bother me in the least, honestly. I was kind of proud of myself. Number one, she smokes menthols, which isn't my thing, but if I would have been really craving a cigarette, I would have easily boned a menthol. Not a problem. Wouldn't have liked it, but I would have boned one, probably. But... Yeah, I am fine. I, I'm actually really proud of myself for just the, the determination I have felt during this whole time. I've tried to quit before, and there was never a time. It was always, I was always stressed out during the day, trying to worry if I was going to succeed or not. Uh, there were times I was like, okay, I, I can do this, I can do this, and then I put on a patch, and then there's other times where it was like, the minute I saw somebody smoking a cigarette, I like wanted to pounce them and snatch it out of their hand. Uh, but this time, nothing. I mean, I really, legitimately, I could care less, honestly. I just, I'm done. I'm, not to mention, I did the math and realized how much money I'm going to save a month. Because I was literally... On a, on a bad day, I guess you could call it, uh, it was a pack a day. If I was trying to really cut down and not smoke a whole lot, I could do a half a pack. But for the most part, it was a pack a day. So, uh, the cigarettes I was buying were not quite $5 a pack. I might as well say right at $5 a pack. And you figure that times 30, that's $150 a month I was spending on cigarettes. So... Um, yeah, it's going to be a big help not having that expense. All right. Yep. Better hook. I will, like I said, I'll cure that better with the UV resin light. How, how full is this? Okay, let's see. Very pretty. Got 
that little spot back here where I got some overspill. There we go. Got a little overpour here, but nothing bad. All right, pretty, pretty, very pretty. All right, guys, so if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. We are almost to 3,000 subscribers, guys. I just can't believe it. I can't, still can't get over that, that we're already there. Um, yeah, so close, guys. My goal is by the end of the year, I'd like to be over 6,000, um, which right now I feel like is totally doable, because I'm at almost three right now, and if I can double that in a year, I would be thrilled with that. Uh, I am blessed just to have you guys watching my videos, liking my videos, commenting. I appreciate it so much. Uh, you're always going to see realistic stuff on my channel. It's never, I'm never going to... What do we call? What do they call it? Blow smoke up your butt. <laughs> Never gonna blow smoke up your butt. It's gonna be real. It's me, real. It's real resin. Things that succeed, things that fail, things that you know. Sometimes when you try new molds, you don't always know what you're getting. Especially the molds you can't see down in, and you're like, "What is this mold?" You know, and you see a picture of it, but seeing a picture of it and knowing where the head is and where the tail is when you're looking down in the mold. You know, where certain things end and certain things begin. So it's just a matter of tri trial and error. Finding out what works, what color schemes work together, what doesn't. Um, we're going to be doing a... I got a custom tumbler to do. So we're going to be doing a tumbler video probably tomorrow. Um, and then... Uh, got a couple more that I've got lined out that I want to do. And then we're going to do some other fun stuff. And we're going to work on that succulent garden that I'm uh, making can't wait to put that together uh, I want to do a little lizard because I kind of want to put a lizard in my little succulent garden now thanks to y'all suggestions I think I want to put a little lizard in there but yeah that's my plans so I hope everyone has a wonderful night I hope your resin cures beautifully I hope your craft projects turn out amazing hope you are all happy healthy safe and blessed and I will see everyone tomorrow night bye